Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today let's talk about the Bitcoin. Today I want to introduce for you some uh, global scenario on the Bitcoin. I didn't do it uh, previously, so today I want to show you some uh, exactly what I'm thinking about. Where is our end of this bear market and why I call this as la last hope for that scenario. So basically, end of this video, you will have a clear understanding where I'm thinking that Bitcoin will go uh, next months and even years, right? So, <laughs> and of course, I will share as well some uh, levels where I thinking that well I will think that this scenario will be invalid and etc 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 so uh, you should to understand none of this is the financial advice this is everything for educational purpose uh, you must to understand that in trading I'm using the complex approach a minimum four or five conditions should to match before I enter or open and trade or do some financial uh, decision so let's go to the charts right now and let's talk about the Bitcoin and that's what's going on this is the global scenario right this is daily time frame uh, uh, the coinbase exchange right and we have some volumes as well uh, and uh, let's talk about what we are seeing uh, we saw that previously we had this bull market over here right and uh, every bull market is kind of impulse right and I would say that this has happened over here impulse and right now is some kind of correction right and how I see this correction first of all let's check the levels where we are expecting as a correction so basically this has happened uh, one main kind of impulse right and after happens some kind of correction so let's take a Fibonacci put on the beginning of this impulse end of this impulse over there right and the levels where we are expecting the same as on the smaller time frame so basically 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.6 and 0.7 so let's mark these levels right and as you can see and I will do the second level the, which is most important for us it's 0 0.5 0 0.6 level so basically we take the red rectangle and we can mark it second time to be more specific where we are expecting the Bitcoin's price so as you can see the most likely on the Bitcoin all the correction comes on a 0 0.5 5.6 by Fibonacci's levels which one I'm using right so as you can see actually yes we did enter in the minimum levels of full correction it's 0.3 so we are traded between 0.3.5 over this range right it was from $20,000 to towards like $15,000 right so basically we can say that a main uh, kind of um, the minimum levels for correction we already reached so basically anytime soon it's possible that we will see some kind of uh, movements higher right but what is most important for us for us is important the structure what we, what can we see right the structure on the smaller time frame and on the smaller deeper uh, picture uh, all of these corrections so how can we see this correction so let me clean this scenario right now and let's talk about the correction for my opinion the correction started exactly from here is 21 uh, uh, first uh, yeah, yeah it's uh, 15 April around this area 20 uh, 2021 right and here happens such a things this is wave A this is wave B and this is wave C this is how it looks like for me uh, so basically we can see that wave A has like ABC correction structure wave B happened that it, this is actually very tricky one it happens very very seldom what you can see on my picture but I think this is one of the most solid picture which one I can break down the Bitcoin for now so basically yeah this ABC correction uh, it happens that wave B sometimes go higher than uh, beginning of the wave A this is really really uh, possible on the LS waves and as you can see see the structure of the wave B uh, I mean if this is wave 5 of this uh, impulse fully right it must have five impulsive wave but here we can see structure of some kind of one two three so this is why one of the confirmation that there is uh, some kind of correctional move and not impulsive move like a, as last impulse right so this is why I treated this way as a wave a B and C so wave C uh, we are interesting the mostly about the wave C and I think that there is so this is where it's getting more kind of obvious a picture what is going on so basically we see such kind of things here wave C is impulsive wave so we can see here's the wave one two three four and five right so basically this scenario looks really really solid for me right now and right now I can treat that this wave three has the most highest splash of volumes again right 
wave two as a co uh, correction has the uh, this kind of the down down about the there's no volumes at all right and wave uh, one has five impulsive waves which one you can break down on the smaller time frame right so basically one two three four and right now we are in a fourth wave first of all what is the science of the fourth wave i i've been repeating it a thousand times the divergence between volumes and the price right so basically as you can see the price is rising volumes are decreasing right this is the one of the confirmation that this is some kind of correction and not the impulse right here you can see how the impulse looks like over here you see that uh from this bottom over here we started right and volume step by step step by step start to increase right we are not interesting about between what is going on but you can see that uh step by step uh the next the time time frame it's using like you can see that um there's increasing volume so this is the harmonious how the market looks like when the volumes are increasing and as you can see here is the kind of the increasing price so this is confirmation of the correction i would say that global correction that here happened the correction this is unharmonious market move when you're seeing that price is decreasing and volumes are increasing so what does it mean it means the price is step by step start to go in lower lower but the people disagreeing it start to buying out so basically this is uh i mean volumes happens usually when the new orders opened right so basically one volume means i have educational video about the volumes you can you're welcome to check the link in the description below in the useful videos you can check it there and study volumes because there's really some solid information I share for that. So basically, what is one volume is when some transactions happen. For example, you exchange me and you, the person who is watching this video, I gave you Bitcoin, you gave me the USDT, right? So basically, this happened like small, small volumes inside of some, some kind of this um, uh, column, right? So basically, yeah, when you're seeing the price is decreasing, but there is more orders, outside orders are opened, right? Usually, it means that... Uh, someone buying out buying someone is selling but someone is buying out so basically this uh, harmonious market move and it cannot continues forever so basically here you can see this divergence as you can see divergence happened right boom the price start to uh price found its own volume the most high splash of volumes happened exactly on this area right exactly and what we saw we saw that bounce right but this bounce happened how we are seeing some kind of bounce but again the uh, high the price uh, hits the high higher prices right all-time highs on the locally in the way four but we are seeing that uh, there is a clear divergence that the volumes are decreasing step by step right and price is rising so again this is unharmonious market move and we need to see some kind of uh, reversal from this uh, uh, from this structure. So basically, one more thing: what can we see? The wave four has uh, also confirmed by its structure. As you can see, this bounce from the third wave has happened. The uh, wave three has finished over here, and wave four begins over here, right? But as you can see, this structure looks like more some correctional ugly movements, right? This is it's not looks like impulse. Let me show you how it looks like impulse. This is the impulse. This is the impulse, right? This is all. Uh, this is an impulse right and this is all the correction when you see such kind of ugly some kind of movements right all of such kind of movements usually is the corrections and as you can see here you cannot break down this structure as the five impulsive waves inside so this is why i would say that we are still in the wave four and this is confirms the wave four one more confirmation for the this is wave four of course if we take a fibonacci let me take a fibonacci and check the levels for wave four and this is where it's getting really interesting right now let's take a fibonacci put on the beginning let me move this one that we can see the beginning and the end of the wave three so how we check the levels for wave four uh, we put the fibonacci on the beginning of the wave three end of the wave three right and the levels what we are usually expecting on the wave four is 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.6 so as you can see we can mark, mark point, point 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.6 and 0.7 right it's uh seldom but it usually happens that 0.7 working out so basically what can we see right now this is really really tricky situation on the bitcoin right now and what can i see we are still in the zone of high attention i know that here is a lot of people got bullish already that uh, we are very close to begin of the boom market but i would say that this is like a last hope hope for the bitcoin if we gonna because this is the last level right if we're gonna break the 0.7 level over here right and we reached it 0.8 and even like one level over 
there, that's all. For me, this is confirmation that this is not a wave four because wave four cannot be um, such kind of deep, right? So this is why uh, this is one of the kind of confirmation that uh, if we're gonna break point eight po in one level over there, that's all, this is not a wave four. So this is why this last uh, kind of level, which also matched with here, you can see the resistance. This is really a uh, strong resistance over there. One of the strongest one happened over here once, right? On the $30,000 and the second one is over here around $38,000. As you can see on the $38,000, we have a massive rejection from these levels. Why? Because this level is very, very important. So what we are expecting, this is, I would say, the really very good time to short the market and put your stop loss because your stop loss will be very, very tight over here, right? I would say if you're shorting the market from these levels, just put your uh, stop loss on the previous high to check this probability if this picture work out or not. So this is why this is really good time to try your probability and try the market uh, to short the market. So basically, uh, I would say we are in the end of the wave four. As well, we can see one more thing that the price hitting these all-time highs, but comparing for all of these previous impulses over here, over here, over here, look at this. Here happened one impulse, second impulse, and this is third impulse, right? You can see the third impulse have much less volumes than in the first and second one, right? First impulse, second one, and third one. So basically, each impulse has less and less volumes. So what the market is telling us by itself, he's telling us that less players are entering the market on the higher prices. And of course, basically volumes is when the, I mean, when there is no volumes, it means no one's opening any kind of, not long and any short positions, right? So this is why you are seeing that some kind of decreasing of the volumes and it's happening usually uh, when there is no volumes, it means no people, no um, outside of orders, uh, someone is opening any position, spot or not spot, doesn't matter, right? So this is why this is a very tricky situation and this is what means that there is no interest about people. People don't want to buy and don't want to sell over this range. So this is why we are expecting or correction or impulse. For my opinion, there is uh, some kind of impulse. For my opinion, we will hit once again this bottom. I don't know if it will be deeper or not, but by Elliott's waves, we can check these levels and I will show you the uh, fifth wave um, by itself, how it's work out. So let me clean this uh, global scenario as an ABC and right now we check the levels for wave 5 and where we are expecting uh, as a wave 5. So basically as you can see this is zone of high attention for uh, reversal for us right where we are expecting the reversal and as you can see uh, we are hitting that I mean kind of the peak of this resistance I mean peak of this zone of high attention it means if we're gonna break that resistance that's all I, I would uh, take my words back and I will say that this scenario is fully invalid. So basically I'm expecting $50,000 around 40, uh, 40 uh, even I would say like 41, uh, $42,000 would say that this scenario is invalid fully. But uh, here you can see a very uh, I mean, it happens such kind of things that as a, a correctional wave go even a little bit deeper as a point eight, right? So let me take once again here, let's put and put here, right? So I would say the point eight already signs that this is not wave four because correction cannot be such a deep. But uh, here is the example over here that here happened impulse and this is correction. Yes, this is the COVID dump, but still, I don't care about the fundamentals. I care about the technicals more. So if we take a Fibonacci on the beginning or the end of the impulse, you can see that we are hitting almost 0.8 level. So basically, we can see that 0.7 worked out and we almost touched the 0.8, but we still didn't touch it and we had some kind of reversal. So basically, yeah, we can see a little bit deeper correction, but I would say I would be very, very careful if we will go higher than 48, uh, 42, 43, $43,000. So this is why this is very, very key moment. So right now, let's check the levels for wave five. Let's take a Fibonacci, put on the beginning of the full uh, whole this input so beginning of the wave one right end of the wave three and end of the wave four it happens over here so we can see the wave five levels for now is 0 0.6 the uh, mo usually wave five comes to 0 0.6 levels this is the how we check the wave five's levels right so 
right now the Fibonacci is selling us around fifteen thousand dollars so which uh, almost matched with the zone of high attention where i'm expecting 0 0.5 0 0.6 levels as a full this correction right so this is what i'm expecting or oh, around 0.6 level so this is our uh, zone of high attention and this is by elliott's wave what i'm expecting of the end of this bull, uh, bear market i would say that if we will reach that fifteen thousand dollar we can say that fully that a b and c scenario work out fully and right now after we will hit the, these levels we will have whole moral rights to say that there will begin some kind of new huge big wave only in that scenario right but first i want to see the broken all of this structure because i don't like this structure as an impulse i don't treat this as, as an impulse right and plus i want we reach that minimal levels i mean the most likely levels where on the bitcoin it comes is 0 0.5 0 0.6 levels by fibonacci global this is important globally this picture is globally here right and of course it can reach even lower prices so uh, you need to be careful but you as a retailer trader or you as an investor i would say like you are not um, kind of trading uh, hundreds of millions of the dollars so for you i suggest you to start accumulate the bitcoin around to this correction so basically we need to see this correction and around twenty thousand dollar to fifteen thousand dollar around this area over here i will marked right here is really good time to start to accumulate but of course do not all in right basically i did accumulate on here already right and i had both here 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 everywhere right i did accumulate altcoins which i still hold i don't take profits on them i still wait for more uh to begin of the bull market and massive parabolic growth this third wave which will happen massive right if it happens because in the previous videos i was talking about a uh, very important topic you also can check that video if you didn't check i was talking about about like crazy scenarios on the bitcoin that it's possibly it can it die as well but of course i still believe in the bitcoin i still think that we will see that massive massive dump and only after that we will see massive impulse the massive impulse means I want to see the impulsive structure, impulsive structure. So basically, as we will retest once again to this zone of high attention, which one I marked over here, from these levels, any time when I will see some kind of impulsive structure, right, like such kind of wave, right, that's all. The DW becomes straightly bullish, and I will post everywhere from all my <laughs> uh, power. I will say that it's time to get bullish. But right now, when you think such kind of structure on the market right when you see such a structure and when you see the divergence and that stuff right this is not what is actually looks good so i hope you like my analysis i hope you like i basically one more thing what i want to mention right now i don't open any positions for the shorts and longs but i'm expecting i'm doing some scalp trades on them but i'm not sharing it in my telegram club on this because this is my main te telegram club the link in the description below it's all for free right now i highly suggest you to enter in that telegram club because here i'm sharing all my signals what I'm doing on the market, how I'm doing on the market, and I'm sharing all the tips in the trading for free, guys. I mean, all this information which I'm sharing here, most of the traders will charge the money. And as well, I'm here posting not only my wins, as well losses. As you can see, I'm, I'm open to showing you losses as well, and I'm very, very, I mean, honest about all of these things. So this is why I highly suggest you to enter here. About the scalp position, what I'm thinking about, if someone interesting, I still will share this idea. So basically what we saw over here, here on a smaller time frame uh, I, I do scalping around the 15 12 minute time frames this is the time frames where I scalp so basically what I see let me clean this picture and show you what I'm expecting on a Bitcoin and where possibly I will open some kind of short so basically uh, once again I'm repeating the most important for me that there matched four or five conditions in my trading system and only after that I will enter the position right now i'm looking the positions for entering the long uh, longs so and on the short time frame right so basically what i see here uh, we can see some kind of impulse i don't care here we can see splash of volumes it means the third wave right so here here we are we one two three four and five so basically this is this scenario i'm expecting for now if we take a fibonacci put on the beginning of this impulse i mean be beginning of this third wave end of the third wave we can see 0.5 0.6 levels over here 
is the levels for wave 4. Usually it comes 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and 0.7, right? As well, as well, again, I'm repeating. But most likely I'm expecting price over here. So again, as you can see how beautifully it works, right? The We see that we touch that levels. Again, boom, we have some kind of reversal. Yeah, we don't know the targets yet, but already you can take a profits because we don't care. The most uh, important for us to check the zones where will be reaction. As you can see, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 levels on the correction as a wave 4 right works out perfectly so it doesn't matter it's going to be smaller time frame or a higher time frame my trading system works on the higher time frame middle time frame and even on a minute and even on the second time frame because we are using the waiver fractal uh, chaotic and all of these things how the market really moves because market is the chaos so this is why this uh, this trading system works super super well so basically if you want to learn and you want to join as well my um, educational program I highly suggest you to subscribe to this channel enter my telegram club there I will post all of the information what's gonna happen and I will sh I mean I will open the educational um, program very, very soon. A lot of people are waiting for that one and <laughs> me too, including I'm very, very excited and I want to bring really massive information and really good uh, good uh, educational program for you guys. So basically, yeah, what I'm expecting for now, basically, uh, I want to see this fifth wave. So basically, if we take a Fibonacci right now and check the levels for wave four, as you can see, wave four, we already checked. We entered that levels, right? And right now we are expecting the wave five. So wave five's minimum levels, if another minimum levels, the most likely, if we take a Fibonacci at the beginning of the wave one, end of the wave three, and end of the wave four, if it's happened here. So basically, 0.5, uh, 0.6 is the level Level where we are expecting some kind of reversal so what I want to see on the 0.6 level first first of all we need to reach these levels around this area because uh, wave 5 usually happens very trunked, right? So basically, as we will break these kind of uh, lows, right, over here, as we will enter these uh, levels, and we will see that there will be less volumes than in the third wave. This is one of the confirmation of the wave 5, right? That this is like kind of a last impulse. So as we can see that um, there will be less volumes than in the third wave, this is one of the confirmation that th there will be some kind of reversal. So basically, we mark this area over here and uh, basically let's open it and text it possible possible long over here so this uh, this area for me is the most important right now so as we can enter we will see that there will be less volumes in the third wave for one condition and the second condition I want to see the divergence I want to see the divergence on the MACDs uh, this is one of the confirmation for this this is wave 5 so basically if we uh, reach that uh, minimums so if the price will hit much more lower right than the uh, main impulse but there will be some kind of divergence as you can see on the MACDs over there this is will be the co confirmation that this impulse getting uh, weaker so basically it's really good time to open some longs so what's my targets for the long so basically if we will reach around this area here let me mark it once again over this area here I will open the positions I want to see divergence on the MACD less volumes in the third wave I want to see the squatting MVI combination as well on the MVN combination also I don't I will make educational program uh, educational content it's really really cool so extreme candles I need to see there and only after that I will open the long positions and my longs gonna be very very shortly I don't care I don't take big um, big moves so basically over here if we take uh, uh, all the Fibonacci levels you uh, around the point three levels point five here I will take my Profit. So this is if we're gonna long, if we take this uh, trend line over here. So basically this is safe long for me. This is where I'm gonna long the market. Only these movements, I will take a profit and walk away at, uh, from the market. So if you like my analysis, if you li like the way I look at the market, uh, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel, enter my Telegram club, press some likes this is motivates me really a lot and of course if you have any question you can ask in the comment section i'm answering each one of you no matter who you are i mean uh, there is no stupid question in the trading so any question any your idea your opinion you can share in the comment section so i'm waiting for you uh, over there thank you for watching i want to thank each one of you who already subscribed to my channel already we are 840 people almost 40 people i cannot imagine that we will hit that 1000 subscribers because 
I really never uh, was even thinking about that it will happen and it is happening. Thank you for so much for each one of you. This is, means a lot for me and I love you. I mean, each person who subscribed to me, guys, I love you so much because, I mean, uh, this is the per person who is subscribed to my channel already telling a lot of information that the guy is ready to hear any kind of opinion, not just a bullish and not just a bearish. So I'm so happy to have you and that I found you exactly the person who subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next. I'll catch you somewhere over there. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.